Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thundermiss Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thundermiss Fishing Tips. I've got a line in already. It's a beautiful day. We've had a high pressure system for the last uh, two or three days now. I'm out here on Lake Erie and uh, we've got a nice partly sunny, partly cloudy day today. The winds are just uh, slightly out of the south. We got a little walleye chop here and that's what we're going for today folks. We're hoping to hook into some nice walleye out here on Lake Erie. And uh, we're going to be running Viper Spoons today. I've got Claudio with me. And my setup is very quite simply, uh, no downriggers today. We're using just uh, divers to get the uh, Viper Spoons down. And there's uh, alternate ways you can get down there. Uh, dipsy divers, jet divers, uh, downriggers. You could use uh, lead core line, very effective. But today I'm just running these uh, divers. And I've got one out there already that's running at about 30 feet. This is a, a 40 foot diver. And uh, I've got about six feet of line to a viper spoon here and you know I like to use artificial baits but today we're running we've got some real nice night crawlers that we're going to be using that's an ideal bait for uh, for walleye and uh, because it's uh, sunny partly cloudy I've got a silver viper spoon out there because silver works really well with the sun and uh, gold works really well with um, with the clouds so I'm mixing it up today this uh, this has a gold back to it so we're gonna run that one out there and uh, get set up See if we can get into some nice walleye today, so stay tuned, folks. Okay, a second line is in. Claudio still has to get rigged up yet. Um, now, this 40 foot diver I've got, another thing to keep in mind here, because I've got it in the rod holder and the rod tip is away up high, that's really only going to dive about 30 feet. I'm taking it about 10 feet right here, just in airspace. Whereas the other uh, rod I had, which is more horizontal, that one is actually going to be running true at 30 feet with a 30 foot diver. So keep that in mind depending on what you're doing. The angle of your rod will determine when you're running these divers uh, how deep you're actually fishing. So both rods, oh, I just marked some fish there at about uh, 40 feet actually. So, which is really good because you don't want to be below the fish. When you're fishing for these suspended walleye, you want to be with your baits above them because they're typically they're not going to go down for a bait. They're looking up, they're feeding up, and they will come up to hit a bait because uh, that's what they're doing, these suspended fish. They're, uh, they're feeding on bait fish. So uh, 30 feet looks like it's going to be the ticket today. Um, but we'll keep an eye on things and see how it goes. Uh, yes, we're on. We're on, folks. Let me just kill the motor. There we go. That's on that 40 foot jet. Oh yeah, he's got some weight to him. That's the thing now, because it's just Claudio and I out here. I killed the motor. Otherwise, we'd keep trolling because where there's one, there's more. But with just the two of us here today, actually you get a better fight this way anyways because those walleye when you're uh, when you're trolling and uh, you're just reeling those fish in they don't really fight too much they come in like a sock but here we go this one's dogging it oh he's dogging it a bit there so you get to enjoy a little more of a fight okay let me get the net it's gonna have to be a one one job net job he's and this is where a lot of people lose fish right here at the boat and the walleye, as you saw me set the hook there, they've got, uh, oh, there he's dogging it here. They've got a hard mouth to them, so you wanna make sure, and you got a lot of line out there. I'm running fluorocarbon, oh, it's a nice walleye. Very nice walleye. There he is right there. Yes, sir, I can get him in here. Uh-oh, there we go. In my little bass net he goes. That's a nice fish. Oh, and he took the gold. He took the gold viper spoon. Okay, there's a nice start to our day right there, folks. There's a nice Lake Erie walleye. That is a beaut. I love it. And this is my favorite size viper spoon, the size SP2. And uh, the SP2 comes with three hooks. And the three hooks, they accommodate they accommodate your bait very, very nicely. And what else I like about those three hooks, boy, that's a nice fish. What I like about those three hooks, you can put your worm on there. Uh, and if you're using a, a, a real night crawler with that tight single strand titanium wire line on the Viper Spoon, not only does it prevent against toothy fish, but it also prevents your, your night crawler from balling up and, you know, crawling up into a ball and trolling out there with a ball. 
Uh, so it, it keeps a nice natural elongated presentation. And that's what we're out there for right there. And I'm looking at the graph, we're at 64 feet of water and marking a little bit of bait fish. So I think we're in for a great spot. We're gonna get our lines back out there. Okay folks, we got it back in gear again. And uh, as I mentioned, that SP2 Viper Spoon, it's my absolute favorite when I'm using a whole night crawler. But if I'm using a, a smaller bait like a leech or a half a worm, then in, under those conditions, I like to go with the SP1 Viper Spoon as it accommodates a small bait very, very nicely. And one question I get asked a lot is uh, worm harnesses versus Viper Spoons for walleye. Well, I'll tell you, they both work. The difference between the two with the Viper Spoon, the advantage it gives you, first of all, walleye love spoons, and secondly, it, it, the spoon has a bigger profile in the water, and the Viper Spoon is flashing and fluttering, and it gives off a ton of flash, and the walleye can see it from a mile away. And then you end up with two actions in one lure with that trailing bait. It's absolutely a, uh, ideal for walleye. And uh, I'll tell you, we've got a great day here weather-wise. It's nice and hot, the fishing's hot, the Viper Spoons are hot, and you know what I think? I think I'm in for a great day on the water.